Hello and welcome back to uh, my second playthrough for FTL. So hopefully this time we will get a little bit further with the Kestrel. We did fairly well actually the first time to be honest. Um, it, it all fell apart when we got to the last sector. I just couldn't find a shop in time and uh, the uh, too many holes. So this time we're going to stick with the Kestrel again. Um, I really 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 do want to get this achievement tonight. Uh, so if I die this time, at least I'll have the, the variant to try with next time. Um, but I've got a good feeling. I think we've learned a lot from last time, so hopefully, tonight's the night, they will make it through. Uh, we're going to leave everything on normal, and let's head off. So let's sort everyone out. I'm going to put him on weapons this time instead of shields. Last time I think I had my second guy on shields. Right, let's just reset that and let's get going. Hmm. Uh, I might go down and round, I think. I don't think I'll be able to get to that one before the fleet turns up. So I might actually go... Yeah, let's go that way. Uh, no. I'm going to be a hero today. We're going to be uh, the saviour of the galaxy. Hopefully those ships won't run off. My last playthrough, I think I saved about five civilian ships and they all ran off. Didn't give me anything. Ungrateful. Smash. Oh, that's definitely not working now. Uh, no, I'm not going to waste a spare missile. So I think my general strategy in this one is going to be to get those six aliens as soon as possible. So I'm going to be spending a little bit more scrap than I normally would buying aliens. Thank you. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Good, but far too early. Um, because I've got no money. Um, but there's some... Oh, well, that would have been handy. She, does he stay there? Ah, oh, awesome. So I could do that. Hopefully get enough scrap and get the rock man. That'd be awesome. Rock men are brilliant because they're uh, immune to fire. So if you've got fire on you, you don't have to worry. You just send him to deal with it. Um, and you can, you can just take up fire single-handedly. This sometimes take a while, but um, generally uh, they are pretty good. And they've got a huge amount of health. I think they've got 150. So they're brilliant for boarding actions as well. If you can't find any mantises. So let's put them back on weapons control. Bit more scrap. Not enough for a rock man. Uh, we might have to skip it actually. For the sake of pushing forward. Oh uh, yeah, why not? Oh, I don't want these. These these are possibly my least favourite ships to fight against just because they've got this ridiculous shield. You just gotta fire everything until it goes down. But they can still hurt you, of course. Especially if they take out your weapons. and get a little bit more evade. An extra 5%. It's 5% I'd rather have. Take down his shields. Oh, I think we might have uh, might have sprung a leak. Nice, oh, taking down my bloody laser again. Let's finish him off. Yay! I tell you what, the civilians in this game are far more helpful than the last one. Last one just ran off every opportunity. To be honest though, I mean, if I was a civilian ship, surrounded by pirates, and someone came along to save me, I probably wouldn't ask questions just in case they decided to take me as well. See, I could go there, then there, then back, but 
I really don't know if it's worth the hassle. You can probably pick up a Rockman later. Uh, yeah. At the moment, we just want to get as much uh, scrap as we possibly can. So, I'm going to take the weapons down. I'll repair that later, it's not important right now. I'm low on the old missiles though, so I might try to save those for a while. Um, actually, I'm not going to get shot up at the moment, you can go and repair that. Less waiting around at the, uh, the end of the turn. Investigate the station. Ah, oh, that is good. Oh, and a store. I could go there, there, store. Oh, there's so much. I could actually just equip that burst laser straight away. That would that would make things quite formidable. Let's see what's at the shop first. You never know. Um, but let's go the roundabout way together. We'll always go to the shop later. Ah, uh, demand surrender. Okay, so they're trying to run, so I'm going to have to save their engines pretty quick. Um, I think we'll just pummel the engines with everything we've got. Oh, it's like that, is it? Gotta get those shields up, otherwise this will get painful. Take out the helm as well, now I've got two things to fix to try and get out. another one up. Uh, one missile. Thanks for that. Um, there, 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 there. Let's try and hoover up as much as we can in this sector, actually. Uh, yeah, why not? Ooh! It's quite a lot of lasers. So, we're all their heavy lasers as well. Ouch, 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 ouch. I do need to get that fire out. Oh, I have got a rock, man. When did he arrive? Oh. I'm so poor at this, I didn't even notice. Probably would have bought one as well. I'm, I've got to spend more time actually reading the screens. Dear me. Bonus points if you tell me in the comments when he actually appeared. It must have been the last encounter, he definitely wasn't there uh, before that one. But look at him go. Just stamping out those fires there. It's fantastic. Well, he's not that good. I mean, the place is still on fire. Um, let's get everyone to put this fire out. But the great thing is he doesn't take damage from it. So it's really handy for suppressing uh, key systems that you can't necessarily just flood in space. So, I, hmm. See, I need someone for shields, but I really don't think I should use a rock man for that. Um, he's helm. He's uh, weapons. Who's this guy? Oh, he's engines. Oh, why not? It's not any harm. I've got no one else for the time being. No, wrong place. In there. Right. So, no missiles. Lots of ships. See, I could probably go there, 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 there. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, what else are in there? So, 
So this actually looks like a fairly easy fight. I do only have one burst later, so I mean I really should upgrade my weapons control. But I want to see what's in um, the store before I do that. There might be something amazing, you never know. Fantastic set of misses there. Plays to our favour. Smack, smack, smack. Could do with improved sensors actually. I mean it's not it's not a big deal, but I do like being able to see what's happening on their ship. It's very handy when you get teleporters. Yep, please be an alien. Oh yeah. Three out of six already. Now we're cooking with gas. Um, I think we are actually going to have to go to the store. We could go there and then to the store. But I think before we do that, I am actually going to upgrade the weapons. And then I can have both burst lasers on at once. Because if we haven't got any missiles, it's just as well. Yeah, because that's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, yeah. Hopefully we can pick up some missiles. Uh, let's try and activate it. Yeah, well, I knew that's gonna happen. We'll just pummel it with missiles, especially since it hasn't got any shields whatsoever. Ah, oh, that's all right. Came out very well, actually. I don't think I've actually had a playthrough when I picked up a burst laser this early. So this is actually looking very good. Burst lasers are awesome. Uh, yes please, love that scrap. Um, we could... Mm. I think it's going to have to be stalled in there. I don't think we can put it off any longer. Nothing useful. Absolute rubbish. Nothing. Fire beam. Not for 70. No, no. That's a load of tap. I'll buy some more fuel. Buy a couple of missiles. Actually, did you have long range scanners? Oh, could have done with that. Never mind. I mean, it's not. It's not a big deal. It's much more important when you've got the stealth cruiser and you actually can't fight anything. But with this, um, you know, you stand a decent chance against things, so you don't actually have to worry about too much. Um, let's have some, actually, we can always do more fuel. You end up buying it sooner, you know, you end up buying it eventually. Ooh! One, two, three, four, five. Five hostile sectors that way. Yeah. Let's stay away from that. Uh, NG space, so... Let's go this way. We went north last time. Let's go south this time. Uh, also, I think the curve starts where you actually jump in. So, moving away, far, far away as you can from your start position is actually more beneficial to you. Being rather quiet. Let's disable their weapons. We could do with an extra power actually. Might buy one. Then we can get our evade back up to 20%, which is always handy. Oh, another ship buys the dust in record time. These lasers are actually really good. Oh, I'll tell a lie. <laughs> I thought it'd start up there. Uh, but obviously not. So, um, hmm. We're going to be just ahead, I think. Uh, yeah, so, oh, loads of scrap. Nice. I'm just, I was just trying to work out in my head there uh, how long um, I've got until the fleet catches up with me. I don't think I've got long at all. Yeah. I've got a feeling I might have to forego that one because if it doesn't connect, I'm going to run into the fleet. 
I don't want the gun. Um, in case you've never fought the fleet before, it's a complete waste of time. Uh, you've just got to beat up a ship and then jump. You can't collect any scrap and they damage you, obviously, because they're usually quite uh, high-powered fighters. Uh, why not? I'll tell you what, we are doing really well. Oh, like, actually, I could go there. But again, I, it might not be linked. I miscounted that. Miscalculated that, even. Uh, what have we got? Shield charge booster. Burst laser 2. See, I can sell that burst laser and sell that. And buy a burst laser 2, because that gives me 3 shots. That gives me 2 charge times 3. Yeah. Bye. Well, let's sell that, because I'm never going to use it. And if I... That's 80. Which would leave me with 60 left. And then I could buy the shield charge booster as well. Let's do that. Um, only the best will do. Actually, I could put heavy iron on as well. That'd be quite cool. The shield charge booster would probably be more useful. Yeah, shield charge booster. Um, power up to full. And now, I need one more energy. Because I haven't got enough to power my engines properly. And next thing we're going to buy is shields, I think. Oh, those stores. Let's go to the stress. So we've got... Yeah, let's search. We've got two really good... Um, lasers now. Let's just check this place out. Uh, see if we can buy any crew members. No, unfortunately. I think it would be close, but I think we can get away with that. Famous last words. Let's see. Oh, I was right. Uh, jump. Ah, oh, we're gonna demand surrender. I don't want to fight. Okay. Try right, we'll blast them out of the sky. So we'll attack the lasers and the shield generator. Maybe their weapons either. I don't know why I bothered sending him to fix things. Oh, actually, the weapons are down. That's uh, rather key to fix. Could do with some Zoltans, actually, um, and then I don't have to fork out for as much reactor power. Which is always handy. It's gonna get very expensive, especially when I uh, start getting the next load of shields. The next level up for shields, even. Uh, Mantis Homeworld. Ooh! Now I've not seen that before. And that's almost certainly going to guarantee us a new ship. If we manage to live through it. I think we got the firepower. Let's go for it. Uh, right. Um, now we were going to go for the new shields. But unfortunately we've got nowhere near enough power at the moment. It would cost us another 25. Yep, let's do that in a bit. Now, distress. It'll be a trap, won't it? There'll all be traps here. Ah. Oh, that's... phew. <laughs> actually, I should stop clicking through these as fast. I imagine it's probably quite difficult to actually read them. Uh, oh, teleporters. Uh, I, knew, I was just thinking in my head, I should have bought those new doors. Two mantis. Alright, I'm going to have to open this up. Actually, they're just going to chase me around the ship, aren't they? Yes, is the answer. Um, so I'll send my mantis and my rock man in. And while these are charging, I will take down their weapons. What's that noise? Oh, it's him. Yeah, it's, uh, it's him being injured. Right, let's take him out. Let's open that door up to space. Let's see if we can finish them off slightly. I'll take some power off the engines to heal them. Oh, I forgot my weapons are fully charged. 
Alright. So I don't mind them doing a bit of damage to my engines, it's just, uh... Yeah, let's get everyone in there. Just gotta micromanage this quite carefully to make sure no one dies. Ooh! That's not happened before. They must have died in a fire. In the teleporter room. That's the only thing that could have possibly happened. Right, anyway, I've got my own fire to deal with, so he can go there. Um, he's fine. He can go there, actually. He can sort himself out. I'll shut all the doors. Um, I'll send him to sort out this fire. And before anything else blows up. Ah, I am actually losing oxygen. It was... I'm glad I noticed that. Oh, he's almost dead. That was close. Didn't spot that. If your ship does lose um, oxygen like this, you can actually open all the doors. And what that will do is it will re-oxygenate re the ship. Uh, which is quite effective. Um, but it obviously, if you generate stuff, it just usually makes the situation worse. Right. So now I've got to replace everybody. Now he was there, wasn't he? He was down there. And he was on weapons. The Mantis guy can go back in there. So this is actually looking pretty damn good at the moment. We can most likely get our shield upgrade now. Yep. And we're going to buy the door upgrade as well. Because I've got a feeling we're going to get boarded quite a lot. Um, here. We could go there, 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 and up to the store. Let's do that. Oh, no. Pants. Um... Well, we've got our rock man though, so we'll just put out all the fires. So let's disable that and that. Now that's down, we'll take out their med bay. Because the fire will hopefully finish them off. Fire. Fire. Uh, time to leave in a minute. Hopefully we'll get out for another solar flare. I think I'm actually probably straying. Yeah, I thought I was straying quite close. So we'll quickly escape. Oh, this one again, is it? Now, whenever I do this, I always choose the wrong one. Either it turns out to be a trap, or he blows up your ship. It's one or the other. The uh, thing is, I need an NG, so I'm going to give it up. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's a trap. All along. Luckily for me, though, their ship isn't actually that decent. There we go. So we'll just keep their uh, shields down, and uh, we'll take the weapons down next. So even with all the NG on there, they're going to uh, struggle to repair all that damage quickly enough. These two lasers are amazing. They're going to see us through for quite a while. So what we add on to this, actually, I think we really do want to have... Um, really do want to add uh, an iron blast, maybe an iron cannon, maybe some sort of bomb. All of that would be good. So we've got a bit more money to... Spend. Hmm. Could go for the decent doors. Better sensors. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for now actually. Could do the shop. Well we could go there, there, there. I think we've got enough, um Yeah, we've got plenty of hull. Ooh, quest. Yay! Uh store. Store there, there. Or we could go there, store, no. See, no way is that going to connect. I think actually I'm going to go that way and see if it connects. Because to go backwards isn't something we can afford to do. Um, cheap iron blast, crew teleporter, drone control. Hmm. <laughs> Breaches through enemy hull and wrecks havoc. Awesome. Um, hmm, that would be quite handy actually. 
I could go for the crew teleporter. Actually, I could go for drone control. Uh, but I do need to fix my ship. So priority really should be to fix the ship. Um, I could sell the boarding drone and then buy drone control, but there's not much point in that because the boarding crew drone is awesome. But it does require three. Hmm. I think I'm probably better off sticking with evade weapons and shields. Considering I've got the awesome shield recharger thingy. So let's sell that. And do a bit oh actually. Mm, the, re the one you really want is the Pegasus. The Pegasus is amazing. So, that will cost us a hundred, we're one off. But we could upgrade that actually. And that ups our dodge chance to 30, which will... Which is always nice. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Yeah, dodge chance of 30 is getting pretty respectable. And it should go up once this guy levels up. I'm not really sure how this levelling up works. It seems to vary greatly depending on the ship. When I was playing the stealth ship, they never levelled up at all. Um, but when I play the Kestrel, they're all levelling up all the time. I think it's probably because I was spending half my time avoiding damage as the stealth ship. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. We should have fired them both at the same time. Improved sensors, I think, next. I haven't got my rock man on the shields either. Uh, no. That's a much better deal. There. There, there. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? Uh, let's pile everyone in there. Because I really don't want to lose that, um... really don't want to lose anything, actually. Any weapons. I'm going to take one off the engines and heal up my guy. So, the rock man can go back onto shields. I'm not going to send him to fix that, because he'd be dreadful later. I think he's still meant... No, he's meant to be an engine, so he can go there. Um, right. Take out the shields. Okay. Get a bit more on there. Who can I... Who's good at fixing things? I might actually open that. Will it get enough air in there or am I just going to leak all my air outside? I'm going to leak all my air outside, that's what. As soon as it's fixed, open the doors. I'm afraid I'm, I'm all right switching all this power around, but I prefer just having enough power to keep everything fully powered at all times. Uh, that way you can shift things if you need it. Uh, if you buy a new system, it gives you a bit of overhead. Uh, who, oh, your weapons! He's almost got mastery. Woo. Quicker blowing stuff up. I found actually that uh, the weapon skill is actually one of the most important skills. Oh, hello. Right, send both of them into there. And I might send these guys in here and I'll send them in after. Actually, I should just put them there, really. Right, get those guys out. Send those guys in. Might as well get everyone get a little bit of experience uh, with the old killing. Especially my Mantis guy. Bell borders. All dead. Um, got a new med bay actually. 
Not sure if that's too great. I saw a, I saw a really good augment actually um, on one of the FTL wikis. There's an augment that basically means you have a med bay everywhere in your uh, ship. Uh, so people don't have to go to the med bay to heal. Now, they don't heal as fast, but still it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, I could go... I could do the stress. Let's see. Might be worth doing. Ooh, you find a source of a distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire has got out of control, it's threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Rock crew, send your rock crew member in. Oh, that would be fantastic. He, he can tackle any fire. Uh, tear through the airlock directly to the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. Disperse as much of the fire suppressant as possible as the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fire starts to die down. Contact survivors. Advanced FTL navigation. Nice. I mean, if I had to choose an augment, it wouldn't be the one I would choose. Um, I didn't really use it last time I got it. Um, but I'm not going to say no uh, when it's uh, free. Uh, good. Some free scrap. All right, let's get out of here. So, Uncharted Nebula or Uncharted Nebula? Uncharted Nebula, please. All right. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Now, the fleet is prepared for nebulas because it's a whole nebula sector, so there's really no advantage for staying in the nebula, otherwise you make your life difficult. Um, I do want to upgrade my shields again. Uh, I could do that, actually. And then I could shift one power from there, one power from there, and have three shields. That could be quite meaty. Except for when you have a half power battle. Um, you jump into a sector of nebula beset by a plasma storm. Yeah, let's attempt to outrun it. I really don't like these half power battles. Oh no. Right. We've got nothing running. Okay, he's got... We've got nothing for weapons. Well, I can power both the weapons now, but I've got no oxygen. <laughs> oh. Alright. Destroy the... Um, destroy their weapons array. And then... That's firing quite quickly, actually. Right, that's that gone. So, with their weapons down, I can now unpower the engines and turn the oxygen back on. Uh, the weapons, weapons are damaged. That is going to cause a problem because he is going to repair that stuff rather quickly. And although I can bring his weapons down with the burst laser, I can't actually finish him off. Let's fire a missile as well. So, get the missile. Oh, wrong. That's the wrong button. There we go. Turn off three. Turn on two. Everything's on. I'm not really too worried about that drone, really. In the big scheme of things. Although I could really do with firing at the same time. Concentrate. Alright. Uh, last blast. There we go. So with, with these little drones actually, as long as you can keep your shields up, um, there's really nothing to worry about. It's when you play the stealth ship and you've got no shields is when they really start to hurt. Uh, why? Oh yeah, I've got to pass my engines away. Distress. Now I've got to reallocate power. I'm, I never fall for that one. <laughs> Every time I've done it, it's always worked out really badly for me. Um, let's put that fire out. Who's injured? He's injured. So, going back to achievement progress, we need to find a Zoltan, and we need to find a Slug and an NG. So, Hopefully, we will find a slug. I mean, slugs are handy, but I'd, I'd prefer an NG. Um, 
I mean, slugs are probably my least favourite race, I must admit. I mean, if you've got decent senses, you really don't need them. I'm a bit surprised the fleet's not turned up yet. Um, not turned up at all. Uh, nothing happens. Could go there, there, there. Or I could just, yeah, I'll stay out of the nebula. It's more hassle than it's worth. Um, we do want to buy some fuel actually, we're a bit low. I like to stay in double digits with fuel. Oh yeah, we'll sell our drone parts, we're not using those anytime soon. Um, uh, shields up! Okay, so, let's power the weapons. Really want teleporter actually. Wow, four guns. Yeah, that's going down. I don't want to be on the receiving end of four guns. It's a bit much. I haven't even got four guns yet. It'd be really awesome actually. Four lasers. Four burst lasers. That'd be crazy. I don't think I can afford the power for that though. Maybe we get some. Uh, Cheaper energy weapons for the back, for the back mounts. I got an auto fire actually. There we go. Gone. What's a nice juicy scrap? Actually, I could go there, there, there quite easily. I think. Uh, yep. Let's take the ship. Bring down his shields. I might shift some power. Uh, no, I'll do it after the fight. I'll drive keep the evasion. For the time being. Ooh, it's 827. Nice. I think I'm gonna save the scrap. I was thinking about getting an extra power straight in, but I think actually I'll hold on to it for a while longer. Um, I'm trying to think what I really want. I'll probably upgrade the shields again actually at some point. How much is this the top level shields cost of damage? I know. Um, I don't think I've actually got that far before. 180 for shield bars. Pretty nice though. Let's have a drink. So he's healed up, so we'll shift that power back to the engines, and full speed ahead. We do need to have some money in reserve in case um, crew members come up, which we haven't got. Hmm, cloaking. So as soon as he comes out of that, he's going to absolutely batter us with that missile. But he has no shields. Oh well, sucks to be him. So far, anyway, as soon as he comes out of cloak. There we go. Is he actually repairing that? I can never tell. That's so rubbish at repairing uh, mantises that he hardly notices when they do. Okay. Actually, we've got enough scrap to buy anything that will be in that shop. But we, we could go there... No, actually, let's just see what's there. Um, oh, yeah! Oh, but that's good as well. Can we afford both? Can we afford all of it? I could buy a whole laser mark two. That would be good, actually. Once you've got the shields down. What's the difference? It requires three, that requires three. You get three shots for that one. You get two shots for that one, but damage per shot is two for that one, damage per shot is one for that one. But you get plus two damage on systemless rooms. So actually that is two per shot if you aim at systemless rooms. 
but it costs more. So we do need to buy these two. Um, and what alien are we missing? We're missing a Zoltan. So we have to buy these two anyway. Um, store. See, that would be really handy. That would be better. But I don't want to sell the Artemis to get it. I'm going to see what's here, here. Here, here. I could go there, actually. I could go there, there, there. Yeah. Nothing. Complete wasted jump. Actually, there's a danger I might run out of fuel. I could go back to the store, buy some fuel, and then... One, two, one, two, three. And I should have bought some fuel. Um, attack the ship. Okay, let's batter these lasers down. Batter these shields down. Oh no. Oh, you can fix that. You're awesome at fixing things. Um, I've got my dedicated fixy 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 crew member. Uh, no. You're going down. Especially if you keep missing like that. It's a dreadful shot. Yeah, I need to get out. Okay, next sector. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Zoltan Hotels. Speaking of which, we never did find a Mantis ship, did we? Um, maybe next time. But actually, we do want to be here because we could buy a uh, Zoltan. Please be Sultan, please be Sultan. No! Oh well. Another burst laser! Oh, that'd be a bit... Having three would be a bit overkill. <laughs> that would be handy. That would be awesome. Uh, I haven't got enough to buy both. Do need some fuel. Ooh, more scrap. Or firing quicker. Firing quicker. Firing quicker equals more scrap. Um, I did buy some fuel, didn't I? Yeah, bought all the fuel I could. Uh. Oh yeah, you'll be lucky. My little set of slug features over there as well. Almost dead. It's a good job it bleeps like that actually, otherwise you would just forget. I mean it's very easy to forget with everything else going on. It's sent all my weapons in one shot. How do you manage that? Oh an iron bomb. Oh, I'll power up the engines while I'm waiting. Okay, now I'll take the power out of them, power out these. That was a really, really lucky shot. Heat burst laser. Still worried about our fuel situation, though, only six. I mean, the advantage of having ships set up like this, at least, is anything that comes to sell, rescue, or whatever fuel for me. Um, I'll be able to handle. Uh, you want to find the Sultan Freighter? No one in the hell. Be ashamed to let the opportunity go away. So yes, please. Uh, got a distress there. Then we could go there. Then we could go to store. Actually, I could go to there, to there, to there. 
but I would like to be a little bit further ahead of the fleet. Yeah. Oh, asteroids, eh? Great. You jump into these interrupts the Zoltan security ship as it follows a Mantis Pyre into an asteroid belt. If they message you, your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please don't interfere. So who sent the distress beacon then? It must have been the Mantis. Sometimes you have to burn the underdog, even if the rare case of the underdog is a Mantis warship. <laughs> hey! Well, I'm assuming that the Mantis warships and the uh, distress. Um, especially if this guy says don't interfere. Right, he's got a really nasty beam weapon and he's got a hell of a lot of shields. So I need to take his shields down because that'll let the asteroid belt do part of the damage for me. Shame we didn't actually quite take them offline in one go. That definitely did. Now I can finish off his weapons. If he's not already been battered by the asteroid field. There we go. Now the Mantis is so grateful that they uh, only take three quarters of the loot. Hooray! That's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Um, get out of there. Uh, you have to admit it's also this beautiful. Uh, yeah. Let's start seeing more killing. More of the killing, please. Uh, let's have a look. Um, nope, I can't buy that because I've got three augmentations. Whole beam. Nice. Very nice. I might actually buy that. That would be quite cool. Yes, but at the same time, I wanted to upgrade my super shields, didn't I? All decisions, decisions. I do need another weapon, though. See, that only gives me... That only gives me another shot. See, that would be awesome. Oh, hell. I've never had one of those before. I'm gonna get the decent sensors as well. Alright. Onwards to victory! Or death, one or the other. Inside the nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A salt and elder hell ship planet. Looks through luck or intent, you've discovered the great eye. Look into the depths and receive your just desert. You approach the planet carefully, trying to keep your ship from breaking off orbit, the monolith, whatever it is, sense as much, because the next thing you know, you have more than enough scrap to patch up your ship. Hooray! Not that I can spend it, though. Aha! And because this is an, uh, a nebula uh, sector, it is actually slowing them down. So I've got to find some time. Oh, two drones. Hmm. I'm glad I've got awesome shields. Uh, except when they take it off line. No, I won't do that now. Yeah, weapons control is the next thing I need to update, upgrade. And then just get more power generally, I think. If I can get that whole beam running as well, it gives me a bit of spare for the Artemis if I ever need to fire some missiles. I need that little extra kick. Ideally, I want to replace that with a Pegasus if it turns up, but I've only actually found the Pegasus once, and my god, was it awesome. Two missiles for the price of one. Uh, yeah, why not? Ooh. Okay. This could hurt, actually. I'm going to shift more power to the engines. I can't believe that didn't take out at least one bar of their shields. It's outrageous. How heavily armoured is this shield generator? Or am I just missing? Ah, oh, I got it. Where that here? No, not the shields. Ah, oh, shit. 
Let's get the station. More scrap! Hooray! I'm glad I didn't buy that heavy weapon now. Let's got it for free! Um... He goes there, 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 actually. Why not? Nothing. Could actually upgrade to max shields. Max shields! That would be awesome. Um, yeah. I've never had four shields before. I want to see what they look like. Uh, oh, I desperately need fuel. Uh, right, they are in the same position as me. They have no power. So I need to take out their weapons. Oh, I do desperately need some fuel. So weapons down. Now I can on the shields. Actually. Around the weapons, keep that down. Turn off all fire, actually. Yeah, I need both shots to take out that on the next go. Oh! I don't get the fuel either. Bulls! Schoolboy error. I could go there and hope it's fuel, and then come back. But if I do that and it isn't fuel, I'm stuck in this sector, and I will be hit by the uh, fleet, so I'm going to jump. Okay, right, so this has to be fuel. Otherwise I'm going to be stuck. That's why I'm going to jump the furthest one away, just in case I do have to wait for fuel to appear. Okay, please have some fuel. So, power the shields up. For some reason they were totally unpowered. I'm actually going to hammer that shield generator. We can actually do some healing. When I can afford the power. Uh, oh. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Actually, this would be a good time to power up the whole laser. Let's see what it can do. It's meant to be devastating, so let's see if it's devastating. Uh, it's alright. It's not on occupied rooms on that ship, but no fuel. <laughs> oh no! Right, if you, this has never happened to you before, this is what happens. When you run out of fuel, you turn on your distress beacon. If you turn on your distress beacon, um, things will find you quicker, but they're usually bad. And then you wait. You wait patiently. Hello, Sisson. We're responding to your distress call. We can assist right a second. You're the ship. Prepare to die. Alright. Uh, power everything up. Um, I hope they have fuel. Uh, let's send you there. Uh, oh, actually, I need my shield guy. Actually, NGs are rubbish at um, combat because they... Um, they have a slower combat speed. So I'm actually going to pummel their shield generator. Consider it pummeled. Okay, I'm going to move them to there. I'm going to send the rock... Actually, I want the rock man in there, actually. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that door and suffocate them. My weapons are charged and I'm not paying attention. That, I was worried there that actually they were going to hit the med bay, especially when it's damaged. So I'm going to take that power off, I'm going to put it there. And then I'll deal with that in a second. 
There we go. And now you're not getting out. Okay, sorted. Right, you can put that far out. Um, close all the doors. Open all the doors to reoxygenate the empty rooms. He can go there and fix that. He can put that out. He is what? Engines, so he can man engines. I'm gonna try and actually um, kill the crew. Are they actually getting through my shields? I don't think they are, no. So, but the shields are on fire, so that's kind of a priority to fix. Okay, we've got fire everywhere. And we only got two fuel. So, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Actually, I might... I might go repair that. And then open up the space. Close doors. Open those two. Hopefully that fire will go out before it totally destroys my shield generator. Or maybe not. Yeah. Close, open. Right. Just repair everyone. This isn't good. We need a shop. So I'm going to go here because that's probably got the most likelihood of finding a shop. Repair the shield generator. We also need to avoid taking damage, so I might do that, and then I can put max power to the shields. So my NG guy is just floating about, isn't he? Oh, they no, should be there fixing the shields. God, take forever to fix. He can stay there. I think everyone else is back in the right place. Uh, yeah. So, he can go there. We are ready to go. The shields are fully powered. And that does mean, hopefully, if we do come across anything nasty, we can, um... Yeah, well, we've got to attack the pirate. We desperately need, um... Desperately need fuel. Um, so let's take the shields out. And miss... Not a power. Well, where'd it go then? I might try suffocating this ship actually. I don't think they can, um. They can actually do anything too severe to me. Um, not with my shields that high. How is this guy doing for shields actually? He's, he's, he's damn good. Don't forget to close the doors. Yeah, when you asphyxiate ships, uh, not only do you get an achievement, you also uh, get uh, more scrap. So, we are going to sit here. Although, I do apologise, it is a bit boring. And um, wait for them to die. Shame actually, but we can't um, tell. Actually, let's help them along a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to damage the crew. Um. Nah, now that will cause a problem. Well, one crew member's already died, so... I'm not sure if that's actually enough to take down the thing or not. Oh, full fuel. I can really do with fuel. They are about to asphyxiate. Hmm, set the risk. Because, see, I don't... I don't know if it's like, um... Like everyone else's ship, but I don't think they can actually jump out. There you go. Ah, oh, I should have taken the fuel. Oh well. Wait, 
We're stuck again. <laughs> uh, explore the nearby area. Oh, got to wait longer. I think the game is punishing me. Uh, right, a small ship arrives a message. This automated ship will provide refueling services once a monetary exchange is complete. Complimentary amounts of fuel are available in emergencies only. Uh, request emergency fuel reserves. Five fuel for 20 scrap. Right. Now we need to find a shop. Uh, quite badly. Uh, now we could go there, 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 but we could just do this whole set down here, I think. And hopefully we'll find some ships. Uh, no, we're going to attack. Um, because you might have fuel. Uh, so, they always attack there. So let's get him out of there. Or depressure it. Depressurize it. We will attack their shield generator. Speaking of which, we still haven't found the Zoltan, which is rather annoying. Um, which is what we need. Um, sorry about finding a shop first, though. Ooh, we're taking around my um, weapon system. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Alright, engines fixed. Weapons fixed. Get engines online. Fix that. Close the doors. Open the doors. Reoxygenize the empty areas. This is actually starting to hurt. I need to pull them out because otherwise it's a danger they could die. We can't lose crew. Um, put that down into there. Put that into there. And get them healing up. I'm going to put them in there actually. And I'm going to try and repair that. Oh good it went in there. I think I'm going to power up the Artemis and for this because I just can't seem to keep enough power going. Power up the engines to full. See if I'm going to avoid something. Right, get him there. He can fix that. Oh, hang on, no, actually, I need to heal them. Who's he? What's he do? He's weapons. Get him back on weapons. Let's get the Artemis on our weapons system. There we go. Buy us a bit of breathing space. Get a slug out. Go fix something. Go make something useful. Uh, I've got a power. That's why. So my engine man can go fix that. Who's meant to go on the engines? You are. O2 is low. Oh, it's because the outside door's open. No, it's not. It's just low. Okay. Oh, that's because I've got no power to the O2. Doi. Oh, hang on, I'm firing at different times. Hole Smasher 2. Yes. We can do a Hole Smasher 2. Just wait. What is the hole smashing to actually? Uh, designed to maximise hull damage. Three damage. Three shots. Uh, three power, sorry. And yeah, that's quite nice. So this is actually turning into quite a mean ship. Uh, what we could do actually is a really decent missile and then we're laughing. With power. I think everyone's back on their respective systems. Yep. Um, what can we buy? Uh, what would be useful to buy? Really use more weapons control, but actually I'm going to save it in case we do actually find a shop and I can buy some fuel. Ah, store fantastic, so I'm going to go there, there, there. That's what we need. Slips away. Okay, only two slugs in this, so uh, let's blast their shields. Mm -hmm. 
Switch the whole beam. Got to synchronize your shots at this time. Fire! Mm, I'm on fuel. Sorry. Um. Desperately fuel. <laughs> Down to two again. Still no fuel. But shop will sell me fuel. I'm sure. Teleporter or fix the ship. Oh, actually, we've got loads of stuff to sell, so I'll sell that. Sell that. And I can fix the ship. And buy all that. There we go. So now we can do some boarding action. But I can't quite get there. I could go to the exit, go to the stress, and then jump back. But again, that's too fuel. No. It's the last thing I want to do. Um, what is the next sector? See, I'm tempted to go for Rebel Control, actually, rather than another Nebula. I don't know. See, I've never got this far, actually. This is as far as I've ever got in this game. See, I'm... Oh, what the hell? In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh! <laughs> no! I don't have any. Um <laughs> Oh dear. You give me some fuel. Everyone's out of fuel. Alright, uh we'll go to the I could go to I'll go to the nebula. Alright, need to find some fuel again. I think we're gonna do a lot of waiting around. I've got a feeling. Okay, right, well first of all I need to turn the whole beam off. Um, I need to turn the laser on. And they're teleporting two mantises. Oh, that's a stupid place to go. Uh, I'll take down the shields. That looks quite nasty. It is quite nasty. I might get the super, super duper doors, actually. I know for a fact they are all going to be mantises in that ship, but for some reason they didn't manage to get their other guy off, which is unusual. Usually the computer doesn't make a hash of that. I just killed whoever was in there, so actually we are going to board this ship. Um, oh, well, never mind. Deal! No! <laughs> oh dear, we're limping our way to the final sector. Please have some fuel. Yes. I will sell my own mother for fuel. I wouldn't actually, but... Uh, let's do that. Please be Zoltan. More scrap. No, no slug. Not what we wanted. I don't know if we're going to get that achievement now, actually, despite our best efforts. Um, I think it might just be a bit too far in the game now. This is pretty much the last sector, I think, before the end, so... I've never been to the last stand, so I'm not actually sure what's there. A rock transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but they, when they hail you... Uh, but when you hail, sorry, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave now. Uh, off to leave them out of the nebula. Why not? See, he's paying for himself. That's two blues. Oh, fantastic. More fuel. Uh, that's what we want. And we've actually got a huge amount of scrap. Um, a huge amount of scrap. You can get the better doors, actually. Uh, actually, I think we want more weapon power at this point. Yeah. And that would give me... Uh, that would let me run a burst laser and a hull laser. Mm, you 
jump to the middle of the plasma storm. Multiple. Yeah. Yeah, I know the way this is going to end. Someone jumps out on you. Oh no. I was almost certain that's what was going to happen. No, I just got hit by wreckage instead. Uh, chase them! It's likely to be a time to advance close to your position. Oh. Automated Rebel Scout with four shields! Ouch! Right. Gonna have to aim everything at their engines. See that does fires three lasers, one damage each. One damage each. So that's exactly the same, except for that does more damage when it actually gets through to the hull. Um I might actually send them well actually no, I want I want him in there because um uh, just in case he does actually have any decent weapons. I'm going to send my Mantis man over just to screw up their engines. So I really don't want him flying off. And I'll aim at his shield generator. There is no oxygen automated chips though, so I do need to uh, watch this very carefully. Actually, I think I may have just sealed his death. I may have just sealed his fate even. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him off in time. Oh, that was very foolish of me. I thought you could get away with that. Oh well. Uh, let's smash it up a bit more. I don't know what he's getting through. Oh, it's his missiles. Alright, well, let's just finish off his um, weapons array. Actually, mm, his engines are still online. But alright, fix the oxygen. I lost a crew member as well, which wasn't good. So now I need to find the Mantis and a Zoltan in about two jumps, which ain't gonna happen, realistically. On the plus side, I do have a ton of scrap. Um, I could go for an extra weapons and extra power, and that would give me how much in weapons? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could power the whole beam and the two burst lasers. Hmm, that would be quite good. That would be very good. Let's do that. Actually, we might want to save it just in case. Let's save it for now. Never know, we might actually uh, come across another store between now and the final stand. Um, right, I could go there. Yeah, but look at that range, I mean... But I don't think he can keep that up. I don't think that's every turn, and that's probably connected to there, so... Oh, but I am out of fuel. Doi. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to tag you. Sorry, I have no fuel. So, um... Three shields. I'm gonna depower the teleporter, and I'm just gonna hammer them with the bursts. Let's just get the shields down. Oh, he needs to go back in there, actually. I need my shields in tip-top condition. Um, right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unpower that. I could power the whole laser, actually, and take this out really quickly. Actually, let's keep these two powered, because that's got half charge. Then I'll blast O2. No, I'll blast the shields again, why not? I'll take that offline, put that offline. Sent into there. It's also handy actually by have, having that extra spare bit of my weapons control. Means that if it all does go uh, to pop, I actually. Oh, well, let's see how many we can get. 
um, it doesn't take all my decent weapons off. Now this works because the more rooms you get, the more damage you do. So that is actually four rooms. So that'll do four damage. Uh, no, I need fuel. Uh, sorry, fuel comes first. He's got an awesome uh, beam weapon there. Fuel, yay! Oh, it's not lost! Ooh, store, store, store! Yeah, we need it, because we need to repair. Because I'm really not sure if we get... Um, if this is a final battle or not. If you get a chance to heal before the final battle. Hmm. Um. Do I want an iron bomb? Hmm. That might actually be handy, actually. Because I'm not using my missiles for anything else. I mean, there's no point in me buying drone control or anything like that, because there's no way I'm going to have enough money to get the power up for that. Yeah, I am, actually. Um, I could put it... there. And then, actually, I could sell that for 50. Which would give me a hundred, which I would then spend on something else. Because that, that's pretty good, but uh, the whole beam is actually pretty much as good, and it costs one less power. Um, hmm. Now, ship-wise, whoops, ship-wise, we could get the... We could upgrade our evasion again. Because at the moment I haven't got enough power to power everything. I need one more power. Now I can do the iron bombs as well. And I could get the improved blast doors for the sake of it. Or I could go for... See, the other thing is I can't actually... Um, I can't actually use uh, without buying more power. And power is very expensive. I don't know. 30, 40, 50, yeah, I could, I could go for an extra dodge and do that. Um, gives me 45 dodge, which is very respectable. question is, can I get there and there? No, I can't. Alright, next sector. The far last stand. Uh, you arrive at the heart of the Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past national security and direct fleet to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully first speaks saying, what's the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain your mission. The explanation is met by murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Tuzel of the Energy Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential, uh, potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Fully respond. It is settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships. We must succeed in destroying the flagship. We will refuse your ship. Yay! Uh, our stations will offer help whenever possible. Good luck. Oh, this is exciting. Destroy the rebel flagship before it gets in range of the Federation base. If it gets too close, there will be no stopping it and all will be lost, so engage quickly. The location of flashing red will be fully under rebel control after you jump or wait. Repair stations will provide pastoral repair for free. Right. So, I need to basically take the quickest route to it, I think. Oh, I thought he was boarding me, he's not. Right, okay, so... It's cool music as well, actually. Oh, border robot, eh? Get in there. I said slug features in there. Right. 
I'll send the Iron Blast into um, their drone control, which means I can finish it off. now fix that. I'll send him to do that. Uh, weapons are down. Uh, let's target there. Uh, that's the oxygen alert. Actually, mm, yeah, let's do that temporarily. Ouch, get in there. Did I just lose somebody? I can't, I don't know. Right. I really need to get their weapons down. I need to get those shields up. Uh, go fix that, you take over from him. Oh, another border. Oh my god, this is difficult. Right. Now I could flood the cockpit. Who have I got to spare who's not doing something? He can go in there actually, it's a man for losing it. Oh, it's another robot. Well, that's to save his weapons, so let's get that repaired. online now. So let's disable that. Um, that door's open. Let's go get the shields uh, repaired. I need to send him out, otherwise he's going to die. Where did that bomb land? Oh, it was me firing a bomb at them. That's alright then. So their weapons are down, that gives us some breathing room. He can go into there. He's about to die, so the rock man in to sort him out. Right, now we've got everything charged. Let's, um... It's gonna have to be the shields. If I can pummel their shields and bring them down again. That border is really difficult. Holes he creates is just unfair. Right, that destroys, that stops that border from coming back for a bit. I need to pummel those shields, get into there. I need to get my dodge guy, he needs to come out. My engine needs to go in there, he needs to go in there. Right, go in there, you come out, you go there, right. You fix that. He needs to go in there. He needs to go there. There's so many holes in my ship. I'm actually more busy worrying about my ship than um than theirs. That's that's the real problem. But I lost very close to the end last time because I took my eye off the ball for just a couple of seconds. Right, he needs to be healed. I'm not worried about Squidworth or Slugworth. Um, I'm going to get that up again. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. Right. Now I could charge the whole beam, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to blast them. Uh, let's fix that hole. about a hell of a fight. I mean, I thought we were prepared, but... <laughs> that was tough. Um, I've never actually got this far before. It's quite exciting. I just hope I don't run out of disk space. Because this recording has been going on for quite a while. Um, right, where are you going? 
to get him healed up. Sort everyone out and get everyone back into battle positions. I'm actually going to buy the med bay upgrade. Um, so I might buy the improved blast doors considering being boarded. I'll buy us a bit more time. Okay, he can go there. I'm loving this music though. I need to buy the soundtrack. Uh, if you didn't know, the soundtrack is available on Steam. Uh, definitely a cool soundtrack. We get all these guys in here. I think that is us set up. Next jump. Now I really want to go towards this repair station because we're going to need repairing sooner rather than later. Oh, also there's still normal encounters here. Um, actually, I'm going to take the bribe in this case because my fight isn't with those guys; it's with the rebels. I mean, it's with the yeah, the rebel flagship. So. They do a brilliant patch job as well. The rebel's about to get control of this beacon. See, am I am I ready? Um, I don't think you could ever be fully ready. Uh, see, I've got an extra power, but that would normally go there. see what we can get. I might go there, there, there. Let's go here. Uh, you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon? It's not too late to avoid a fight. It's too late to avoid a fight. Oh, it's another incredibly heavily armoured cruiser like it was before. So I need to turn the iron cannon on. We need to take out the shields. I'm actually just going to fire everything at that shield generator since it's charged. I'm going to need the iron cannon as well. Right. And that did absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Um, what can I do? It's too late to swap out my weapons. I could jump. I'm gonna jump. I mean, weapons are offline. I mean, it's just a nightmare. So, if I can get that room fixed up. Get in there, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Well, we're not going to make the mistake we did last time and board, uh, board one of these ships. Ouch, it's these missiles that are actually ripping us apart in a really big way. What I really need to do, actually, is replace that with a hull beam, I think, with a with the missile launcher. Um, I have no idea why I aimed at that. That's all. Oh, no, I don't want to move you. Who am I moving? I'll find out in a minute. Yeah, slug left. No, come back. Come back, slug. Oh, who died? No, not weapons, guy! Oh, that is not good news. That is not good news. Not at this point. My weapon recharge rate has just gone up hugely. Oh, that could cost me the game. That is definitely not good news. Right, I'll send all those guys to there. Right, I really, 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 really quickly need a new weapon sky. <laughs> they stop being hit by bloody missiles. I need to get him there to fix that. I'm going to repressurize the ship. Right. Get that to that. Hit that for all it's got. Oh. Sorry. I'll go to the repair and get some breathing space. I could 
goes there, there, there. This is really difficult. Right, let's swap this around actually. I'm going to put the Artemis back on. Um, I think we need missiles. We need something that charges relatively quickly, especially since we've just lost our weapons guy. Like that, that is really, really bad. Um, okay, he's going to take that one next. The rebels are in control of this sector. Oh, that's the one I left behind, wasn't it? I'm going to have to go there. Um, and kill that one. Anything else we can squeeze out. We could get another dodge. But will we ever use that? Well, we might actually, because if we get enough scrap for the next one, we would use it. Right. So keep the shields fully charged. This is such a shame about those weapons. My NG there to fix the shields. Just miss with everything. Should have expected that. Let's see. Oh, that is... Oh, come off it! It's ridiculous! Something that big coward cloak! Alright, let's heal him. Oh no, let's not. <laughs> that is... Bull. What are those? How many weapon rooms? Oh no. Right, how are we going to handle this? Well, I'm assuming that's an iron weapon, that's a hull laser, and that, that's got to be a missile there. I assume. Um, so I think we aim for the shields first. Yeah, that is a missile. Oh, triple missiles? Fix that hull. Right, and we just absolutely hammer that um, shield generator, and then we pick everything else off. Get out of there. Right, I need to reduce power from something to allocate power there. Um, he's absolutely hammer that shield generator. Right, so now we're actually getting somewhere with the shields. We can actually bring some of the weapons down. So that we've got. That hurts. Now what have we lost? Right, he, no, we don't do that. He's almost dead. We need to keep him alive. And the, the key requirement is to keep the shields up. If the shields go down, we are seriously screwed. Um, oh, I haven't got enough power for the shields. Why not? Oh, because the medbay's on. We need to keep the shields up at max. Ah, I've just noticed these rooms aren't connected, so once a weapon's down, it's down for good. That is very handy. So actually, this... Uh, well, you could just take a boarding party, actually, to each of these rooms. That would be quite a good strategy. Still can't believe a stinking cloak. Uh, right, let's hammer the shield generator again. Got it! Ray! Woo! Just as you gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, it will have to—it will get close to the base to be a threat. You've bought some time, but you've got to keep up with the assault. 
You are joking me! Oh, I'll have to repair everything. I bet it's fully healed as well. I just basically have to fight it twice. You chase down the flagship and discover it's heavily damaged from its previous fight. Scans indicate it redirects the considerable power to drones. Prepare to fight. Oh, right, okay. Um... Oh no. Well, I have to hammer the shields again, and then hammer their drone. Weapon. I mean, their drone control. It's a shame nothing, none of that got through. Um, I don't know if it's actually worth killing him or not. I don't think it is actually. He will break it, but um Intruders? Well yeah yeah, I know about that, thanks. How many drones? Jesus. I don't think we can do this. Now uh, the clock is ticking because the O2 is off as well, but I can always jump out. So that's what we might have to do. So we cannot let our shields go down once. Now hang on a minute. I'm going to take off one. I'm going to fire the Artemis. Hopefully that will hit. No, it's oh, it's got defense drones. Well, I'm going to have to just... I'm just going to have to hit the drone control and hope that a shot gets through. Fire everything at drone control. Take the slugs out to get him. Power surge detected. I cannot get through. I'm gonna have to jump. actually is what I need to use on that. Um, right, he's healing up, but soon I'm going to have no air, so... Okay, the hole's fixed, so I can open all the doors, and hopefully that will stop the uh, oxygen draining. gonna make it to me. Um, so let's turn the Artemis off and turn the iron, iron Bomb on because if I can disable their shields I can with the Iron Bomb I can then hammer them with the burst lasers. I think that's the trick. So let's shut all the doors, get everyone back on their stations. Who did I allocate to weapons? I've forgotten. I think it was him. It was his engines. To divert all power to engines. So it would be nice to have another one. Another dodge chance. But I'd have to take power of something else to do it. Actually, that would be handy. Then I could take a power of that and then power the Artemis as well. Be a bit more flexible. I'm just going to wait for my O2 to recover and then we'll head back in. Um, well, actually, we'll wait because they're coming here. Right. So now we've got the iron bomb loaded. 
Right, we need to get rid of this drone, so I'm going to send these two guys into there. Wait for him to come to me. I can use the iron bomb to disable the drone bay. Then use the Artemis to destroy the shield generator. Bish bash bosh. Except if I miss by that. Um, there's really no point in me trying until I can disable that. How many drones is this? I keep missing. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Laces just aren't powerful enough. We were owning everything up until this point. Okay. Uh, get him to there. Put those fires out. And we're gonna have another go at blasting that once the iron cannon's up. But I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Um, actually, I need him in the engine room because I need the evade. Okay, right. I can iron bombs to be charged. Oh no! <laughs> so close, yet so far. Oh, that is difficult. I bet you've got to kill him again after that. So that's probably three. Let's have a look at the stats. Uh, most ships defeated, most beacons explored, most scrap collected, most crew hired. We managed to get this one as well. Not using any drones. That was difficult. Well now I know what to expect at least. Well I hope you enjoyed that. Um, do like and subscribe if you like these playthroughs. Uh, that one, I must admit, was pretty tense towards the end. Hopefully... Uh, next time, we will defeat the uh, Federation boss. Um, but yes, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I uh, do leave some comments if you uh, enjoy these videos. Um, it would be interesting to see uh, what you think. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. Bye.